Welcome back everybody, this is Easy with Easy Street Gaming, here with Nirvana, Nerve Damage. Hello, hello. Bringing you, uh, th this is a video, uh, this is a farming video. We did a, we did a bunch of uh, farming the other day, had a couple of the guys post up different attacks. Uh, this first attack is from Flex, this is attack, an attack that he has actually worked on and perfected called the Flex. And, uh, one of the reasons to make the video was to to show everyone what we're using to farm with, how big these armies are, and and the reason that we that we're using these big armies is so we don't miss out on any of these big bases. Look at look at the loot on this base that he attacked. Uh, this has got over seven hundred thousand gold, over seven hundred thousand elixir, seven thousand dark elixir, and if he had been using a raid that with barbarians and archers he wouldn't have got any of that and you know flex for example he has max resources all the time he waits on builders at town hall 10 he's waiting on builders still because he just constantly has full resources so you don't have to be you don't have to skip on the army now do, do a lot of people do that or is that just i'm not common sure. choice because it seems like i get hit by a bunch of Barges, but I also get hit by a bunch of armies. Yeah, well, uh, what I what I'm always suggesting to people is that you have to if you if you if you participate in clan wars, then I would use your war army all the time, because that way you're not using. Uh, I'll give you a perfect example. Uh, while we're watching this attack, I'm not going to do play by plays in this video. Uh, we're just going to show you. What, there's a bunch of good attacks. You can watch the attacks. Um, I was using the Goblin Knife, which is an attack that I had, it was real popular uh, about a year ago, and I did that, and I was really doing well with it, and then I'd get in a war, and I was so out of sync with my war army that I couldn't three-star. Now, I was doing great resource hunting, I could, I could get all, you know, I was just raking it in with the Goblin Knife, and then you get to war, and I'm, you know, I actually put goblins in a war. <laughs> well, you know, easy. I'm the same way. I'm I'm stuck at a raid. I do awesome raids. Like as soon as the war's over, I get a three star million dollar base. But during war, I struggle. Yeah, well, actually, two of these raids were right after war. After um, a pretty disappointing. I I believe we won the war, but I had a pretty disappointing war myself. And then the two raids following the war was were both three stars for me. Um, I always refer to it as when I used to play pool. Um, I'd play in a pool tournament and I wouldn't do well. And then after the tournament, I would run three racks of of, of nine ball in a row after just after struggling. So I, I I I'm sure there are tons of people out there that will screw up in their war attacks and then go and three star the next person. Yeah, I wanted to post it real fast so everybody knows I'm really not a screw up. I know how to do this game. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, the next attack is was from Sable. This was uh, the La Loon. Now in Town Hall Nine, this is a, a a strong suggestion. We have tons of guys in our clan doing this. Um, we they are using the La Loon all the time farming. And it's not a cheap army. Uh, they're, they're bringing three lava hounds. I think in Town Hall Nine, the lava hounds are seven hundred dark elixir. So you're looking at twenty one hundred dark elixir. That's a pretty ex expensive army to build. But, uh, but most of the time, we're going after bases that have three or four thousand dark elixir in it. Now, if you're trying to uh, if, if you're trying to do a queen upgrade or king upgrade, maybe the the you you wouldn't want to bring th three lava hounds, but uh, you know the point is is that not only are you getting the the big bases you, you can attack these big bases that have tons of resources in it but you're also always practicing for war I think it's a really big point to make that you you want to do these attacks uh, you know let's let's say if you do 20 raids in a day uh, I don't know what the average is but it's probably some, close to 20 um, mo most people that, that that are clashing they do a lot of raids a day so I would really suggest try to get your war army in there as many times as possible. I know I know that some guys they you know they don't want to hit their clan up for bowlers because a lot of people use bowlers in the clan castle. Uh, let's say if you're in a clan that has two town hall tens and there's a forty person clan, you don't want to have thirty eight people asking for bowlers every time because your two town hall tens are going to leave. 
you know so there are there are circumstances where you you, you can't always use your war army well i'd like to see personally i would like to see more challenges not just before war but like when you're raiding during the day if 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 you're not if i don't have my stuff where it's boosted i'd like to do some challenges instead of doing it to my own accounts because i mean let's face it more practice you don't have to use your resources if you do a challenge i i've yeah I, i've I, the the uh the clans that i've been in with too easy when i've done the too easy road trip stuff all the good clans do challenges all day long it, it's constant all day that is awesome yeah all day they, they challenge 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 if you're in a clan and you guys aren't doing challenges i uh, i would be willing to bet that your war log will reflect it because the, the the clans out there that are on these big win streaks these 30 40 game win streaks they are constantly challenging each other and uh and they're constantly attacking each other and they're right. critiquing each other's attacks that way and i've also seen like the lower town halls town hall eight town halls seven eight nine the lo like new the newbies the new nines that are still really town hall eights like my mini um it's hard to get like i don't want to go i don't want to challenge on town hall 10. <laughs> no. but most of the 10s and 11s are the ones that will throw their bases up yeah, well, they'll, they'll, they're the first ones to throw it up there. And our little guys won't do it. It's like they don't know if they're intimidated or... I just think that they're on more. I know in our clan, our the Town Hall 11s, they're on all the time. The You know, the 10s and 11s are on a lot. It takes a lot It takes a lot to maintain a Town Hall 11. But it seems like if you, watch the, if you, if you go and watch, they don't play a lot. Like, they have, a, they have the... They're in the clouds. Right. You know what that means? No. Well, that... Uh, when you get up in the really high levels it's you don't you, you can't next a hundred times to find a base it takes a long time to get a matchup we're, we're playing at levels uh and this one right here this is this is one of my attacks easy it's in uh, it's in champ three i can hit next and as soon as i hit next another base comes up and then as soon as i hit next oh, another base comes clouds up clouds in between yeah that's when, oh, okay. when you hear the guys <laughs> talk about the clouds that that means they're in the clouds <laughs> and they're waiting for the next base to pop up and um you know it may take 10 or 15 minutes before base pops up so there it's it, it, it's if they don't have one of the um what is it they where they buy the the shield the shield well no they're, they're, they they have to try to get trophies you know, if they're up in Titan, they, they're trying to get trophies. So they're constantly trying to attack. Up, and it takes a while to, to find another base. Because there's not nearly as many Titan players. Right. You know, there may be, I don't know the numbers, but let's say this is 10,000 Titan players or, or 15,000 Titan players. Well, there may be four or five million Gold 2 players on at any time. Well, could they go to another network, like go to China or something, and they could try, uh, buy I'm, more Town Hall 11s there? I have never played in Titan yet, so I, I'm assuming sure, but I don't know. So, okay, well, we've talked our way through this entire um, this, this entire <laughs> raid too. <laughs> I hope you're watching. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but point was. No one's falling asleep yet. <laughs> yeah. Point point of the video was build big armies. Use your war army when you're farming. And you'll get similar results to what we've been doing. Uh, when I ask people for replays so I can so, to make a video, uh, I may get four or five replays that are all over a million in resources. So as long as you're making the army that can go and actually take a hundred percent of the base, you, there's there's no limit to what you can get. So if you're struggling, if you're struggling to get resources, build a bigger army. So. That's that's the point. There. Well, I, I've spent a lot of money on that Loney, and, and I still don't have the timing right. I don't get no resources. I don't get no defenses. <laughs> well, that's gonna you're gonna have to play even more. That's the only way. <laughs> oh, I get to play more. Yeah. Are you giving me permission? <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, thanks for watching till the end. Appreciate it, everyone. Till next time. It's been easy. And I'm glad Easy's not going on so many damn road trips. <laughs> See ya.